Sheryl Sandberg, we told you how her brand new book is generating a kind of feminist firestorm. Um, Elizabeth Vargas was here in the first half hour talking about that. It's in part because of Sandberg's blunt talk about the leadership ambition gap between working men and women. She's a CEO of Facebook and a director of Disney, the parent company of ABC News. Her book is called Lean In, Women, Work, and the Will to Lead. We're going to talk to her in just a moment, but first, a look at her journey to the top. She's the female force behind the largest social networking site in the world. Sheryl Sandberg, Mark Zuckerberg's right-hand woman at Facebook. As chief operating officer, she's been a consultant for world leaders, and she is breaking down barriers every day in Silicon Valley. Just this year was number 10 on Forbes' list of most powerful women. How'd she do it? A Harvard graduate, she was the chief of staff at the U.S. Treasury Department by the age of 29. Taking a leap of faith on the tech industry in 2001, she joined a then small startup called Google and built it into the number one search engine. A few years later, she was wooed to Facebook, where she has been credited with turning the social networking site into a billion dollar business, all while raising two children. But with her rise to the top, she has seen fewer and fewer women rising with her. So she's speaking out. No one gets to the corner office by sitting on the side, not at the table. Do not lean back, lean in. And that's the message of her new book, Lean In, Women, Work, and the Will to Lead, empowering women to take action and follow their dreams to the top. I think a world that was run where half of our countries and half of our companies were run by women would be a better world. Yes, joining us now is the author of Lean In, Cheryl Sandberg. Yeah, just look at me, Cheryl. Thank you. I know for you're you're, me. you're a powerful woman, <laughs> and I love how you're just a little nervous. Yeah, that's absolutely. A, that's refreshing. This is Good Morning America. That's right, babe. That's right. <laughs> you're Robin Roberts. When you say Lean In, you really do lean in with this book. Explain to people what you mean by that. Lean In is about believing in ourselves, believing that we can do anything a boy can do. One of the reasons I wrote the book is. Uh, about a year ago, I got a tape of all the presidents, played it for my kids. My daughter, who's four, she looked up, she said, Mommy, why are they all boys? So last night, talking about coming on the show mm -hmm. with my children, my son is now seven, my daughter's now five. My son says, Mommy, are girls even allowed to be president? He uh, even last allowed? Night. And so the point is, we are <sighs> growing up in a world where most of the top jobs are still held by men. And we're going to lean in, believe in ourselves, and teach our daughters that they can do anything our sons can do. Well, it has really gotten a lot of people talking. We talked a little bit about the controversy in the first half hour, but I, well, let's talk about some solutions. And, and you admit in the book, Cheryl, you're very honest in the book about yeah. your struggles and getting to where you are, because a lot of people want to know, how do you go from being a research assistant at the World Bank to being the CEO of Facebook? Talk about the struggles you had in getting there. I think like so many women, at every stage, I did what so many people do. You doubt yourself, you're not sure you can do it. We know that when men do something well, they believe it's them. And when women do something well, they believe it's help from others. And so Lean In, both the book and leanin.org, the online community we're launching, is about helping women believe in themselves, helping women know that they can reach for opportunities. Throughout my career, you know, all the people I've managed, the men, they're always, you know, in my office, I want mm -hmm. the next job, I want the next opportunity. The women lean back more. And when I say, you know, you should apply for this, some of them say things like, I'm learning in my current job. And men never say that. And that's what we need to change. But you, you do talk, because some of the criticism has been that you're putting the ownership a lot on women. And women are saying, mm -hmm. um, the way things are set up, it's like the chicken and the egg. What comes first and women being able to, um, to break the proverbial uh, glass ceiling, glass ceiling and, and how we go about doing that. But I know something that's very important to you is that in, since the 1980s, women have been earning more college degrees than men, that's right. yet we're not seeing the translation in the front office, so to speak. Why do you think we haven't seen the progress in the last 10 years or so? That's right. Women are stalled at the top. Women have earned more than 50% uh, of the college right. degrees for 30 years. But for the last 10 years, there's been no movement at the top of corporate America. Why? Women are at 14%. Look, we're held back by a lot of things. We're held back by institutional barriers, lack of flexibility, really terrible public policy. We trail almost every other country. Mm -hmm. But we're also held back by things within ourselves. We're held back by the fact that we continue to do the majority of the housework and childcare. Our partners are not yet partners. 
in order for women to sit at more tables in the boardroom, we're going to also have to get men to sit at more tables in the kitchen. And your husband, Dave, you have talked about that, that part of the looking and leaning in is when you select a spouse and that's that right. somebody that is a true partner. That's right. I talked about this. I tell young women who ask me, I'm like, date whoever you want. Date the crazy boys, date the commitment phobic boys. But when it comes time to choose a partner, you know, choose someone who's going to be excited for your career. Mm -hmm. And that means changing half the diapers. I've obviously been talking about this book lately, and one of the things I say to men is, even if you're in a marriage, marriages can always get more even. One of the best ways to have more sex with your wife is do the laundry. This is the morning show. Come on. Do come on, the Cheryl. laundry. The morning show. That's okay. But there are <laughs> studies that actually show that. There are studies that show this. <gasps> Turns out what is sexy when you're older as a wife is a husband who's doing his share. My messages, my Facebook messages mm -hmm. are filled with men telling me, you know, they can't read my book because they're going off to do the laundry. Because now they're they busy. know they, they're going to get they're a little busy. Yeah. That's right. You mentioned about lean in. Dot org yeah. that's very important to you. And this is, it's about a conversation, Cheryl. It's about a dialogue and, and bringing women and not just women, all people together to, to further this discussion. That's right. Talk that's a little right. bit about what this Lean In is. So leanin.org, we're online. Join us because we're about to hit 40,000 people in the community. So if everyone watching joins us. Mm -hmm. But we're doing three things. Forming an online community where people all over the world, men and women, from all circumstances, can talk about the things that are happening in their lives, sharing Lean In stories. The women of ABC, right. including you, wrote yours this morning, so mm -hmm. you can find those with us. Um, Lean In Education, 20-minute lectures by professors at Stanford. Think of it as Khan Academy for Women on how to negotiate for yourself. Women make 77 cents to the dollar for men. We're going to change that. And the third is Lean In Circles, letting people form groups of 8 to 10, women or men, who want to support each other. We all know that we're better with the support of a community. And so Lean Communal. In is trying to take the message of the book mm -hmm. and create a community so that we can support each other. And you admitted the book, not all women, not all people want to be in the boardroom. A lot of people are, are right. more than happy with their current situation and, and, and balancing whatever they have at work and, and, and life. But if you are a woman who wants to be sitting where you are right now doing what you are doing, what are the suggestions you would have for that woman? The most important thing is don't leave before you leave. What I've seen in my career over and over is women, you know, leaning back years before they have a child. A woman at Facebook came to talk to me about this. She was asking all these work-life balance questions. And I was like, she looks so young. I said, do you have a child? She said, I don't know. You're going to have a child? Maybe. She started laughing. She's like, I graduated from college last year. I don't even have a boyfriend. Now, what happens, though, is women start worrying about it really early. Men are leaning forward. They're getting promoted. They're getting the next opportunity. Women are worrying about responsibilities they don't yet have. And then they wake up, and they're years behind that man. And that's how you get to 14% at the top. I want to be clear. Leaning into the boardroom is not for everyone. That's a choice some people right. make. But leaning in is for everyone. I got a letter from a woman who had, who had read, and she said that she's a stay-at-home mom. She wanted a better teacher for her ch for child. She didn't think she could do it. She marched herself into the principal's office and got her child a better teacher. It's She's all relative. leaning in. It's all relative. She's it's not just in. leaning in in the workplace. It's wherever you are and doing the work that you're doing. That's right. And Believing your voice matters. Yeah, well, yours does. Okay, Cheryl. Well, we're going to have a lot of women that are going to be coming by here. We're going to have a town hall. They're going to ask some really great questions from all walks. I know you are. I'm excited, excited to, to talk to have your mom them. and dad here. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are in life. It's all about your mom and dad. And yours <laughs> That's here. right. And mine are here with <laughs> and me. Joining. So thank you, Cheryl, very much. Thank Lean you for in. having me. You got it. Lean in. Women work and the will to lead is in books stores today and as I said tomorrow more with Cheryl Sandberg in our town hall meeting asking tough questions about what it means to be a woman in the workplace and you can see more of Elizabeth's uh, interview with Cheryl tonight on Nightline.